Okay, welcome everybody to the second KCF University Cup. Um, I'm honored to be joined by legendary world champion and probably the greatest player of all time, Gary Kasparov. And my co-host is uh, US Women's Champion, Carissa Yip. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. We have some exciting games as we go into day two um, of the final um, day. And uh, Gary, thank you so much for being here. Um, should we analyze the games or would you like to say something about your foundation and uh, the tournament and what are your goals with, uh, with uh, uh, the K University Cup and as well as your foundation? Look, foundation uh, um, is entering its 20th year, so we'll celebrate in November of the, the 20th anniversary. It started all the way back in 2002 and um, I'm very, very happy with the development. So. Um, we have a strong sponsorship base. Our donors are very happy with with um, with the spread of, of our activities around the globe. And um, University Cup, Cup is, is is an idea actually to extend our our um, uh, chess chess projects. You know, from uh, um, uh, um, uh, talented children, the school programs to um, to uh, the area of competition that includes uh, already you know mature uh, players. So uh, it's a second cup, and it's we believe it's, it should be, be a traditional one. And um, I'm quite pleased with with the response. Um, as I said a few minutes ago, um, greeting the players. So it's uh, it's amazing that we we managed to have teams from uh, um, 31 countries and all six continents. That shows that chess uh, keeps gaining popularity. And um, I'm very very pleased to see that Kasparov Chess Foundation is. Uh, is at, at the right place to to uh, be part of this uh, global um, uh, development of the game. Absolutely, and to add to that, um, there are some stats uh, prepared by Grant. Uh, we have 145 teams from 79 colleges, more than last year actually, despite the COVID, yep. and uh, thir from 31 countries with 670 players. Right now, we have uh, 16 grandmasters, 19 IMs, uh, two women grandmasters, three WIMs a bunch of FMs and WFMs. So definitely has grown from last year, which is, uh, which is great. And we have representation from all uh, countries, uh, from all continents, uh, including Africa, uh, Oceania, um, and many, many countries that didn't have access to competition. So you're helping chess grow in, uh, in these parts of the wor world where they don't necessarily have access to all these competitions. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, Fantastic. So, um, let's jump into some games, maybe, yeah. and then we can talk more about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's move on. Yes. Let's okay. So, so uh, I'm going to change scenes so we can look at the standings a little bit. Right now, um, we have basically the story is Texas, 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 and that's not an exaggeration. UTD in Dallas, Texas Tech, and Texas uh, RGV are basically um, um, leading. Well. Two Texas teams have perfect scores, and almost swept the whole um, almost swept the whole tournament actually so far with only one two draws for Texas Tech Texas uh, Dallas, um, and uh, behind them are St Louis University and Mizzou, and there's also this Gundarama University I think they're from Indonesia and Warsaw, also followed by them. So maybe we can take a look at um, UTD games first. Um, Carissa, can you? Give Gary the link between uh, the board one, uh, Canyon yeah. versus Vasquez from Texas Tech yeah. versus UTD. Um, I believe it's the same link that I already sent. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at this game and we'll commentate on, on uh, hear Gary's thoughts um, on some of these um, games. So this is this 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 is the game. This is symmetrical uh, Grunfeld, Yes. Uh, I oh, believe it started it, with it, yes. Wait. It's uh, it's it, it's it's symmetrical bishops only bishop on rooks left. Yes, not, yes, it's, not, it came from the Karakhan. Most, not the most exciting game. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We are looking at uh, these, these two bishops and two rooks versus the same end game. Yes? Between, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. You're um, right, it's not the most uh, exciting. Um, no, I think this is the, I mean, any anything but draw will be a surprise. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, I don't see what is this, what is... It's just going to peter out into a draw. Yeah, they can okay. start the doubling rooks. I wouldn't, I, yeah, I would probably do rook g7 without taking, but it doesn't matter. Uh huh. Next okay, this is not, not so eight. exciting, maybe. So we should we move on to maybe a different board? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's now, now the exchanges and. Um, 
And I guess the, the game should be should be drawn soon. But again, you never know. Yes. It's it's a rapid chess. That's true. That's true. I f I feel like these players are are strong enough that they will just make a draw very quickly. It seems maybe yeah. offer a draw. Yeah, okay. It's the, yeah. Um, okay. What's the what's next? So here. yeah, let's yeah, do next game. Not, not the biggest game. action here. Yeah, let's look at board uh, two two, then two. just really board quickly two, yes. see if it's any any more sure. interesting. This, this one is, is very interesting, actually. This is the Indian I am Rahul Petty from the Texas Tech versus uh, Alexei Ooh, Sorokin. Wow, that's the that's here we're talking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really have... And I believe uh, Sorokin is from Texas Tech and Petty is from UTD. Yes, yes. And we have uh, Julio Sodora in the chat, uh, who's the coach of uh, UTD. Uh, hi, Chess Sensei Julio. Good morning. In my in my stream chat. Okay. So what's going on? Your material is equal, but that it's probably doesn't equal, matter. Here. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. So the um, yeah, black has a c4 square, but I don't know how they can actually capitalize on it. White has more opportunities but now now the pawn d6 pawn is yeah i wonder if they if they do if they repeat the moves now yeah really okay that's that's that's, that's that would be a pity but but otherwise it's, it's not easy for for white to actually you know what is the idea that i, I i'm thinking is just now actually was rook g5 mm -hmm. instead of bishop e2 you got the rook g5 threatening knight h5 winning the queen queen h6 rook g h check Okay, rook g. Maybe, 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 maybe rook g five was an idea instead of instead of bishop e two. Now they repeat the moves. Which is can he idiot. still can he still play rook g five here? Rook g five. Rook, rook g five now six. possibly, but you know, I just I don't think that's. I'd rather have this rook on d eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just still rook g five possible. It's, but now now you can yeah it's uh, queen uh, f. Maybe what about rook f five? Yeah. Okay, Rook G5. Rook G5. You play, you play Rook yeah, he G5. Played, he played it, yes. <laughs> you play Rook G5. Are we going to see Rook but, takes but this? I, I don't know. I don't know why why you put, put Bishop on E2. I mean, that's the case. That's the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the idea there is correct. Now, Knight H5 is a threat. Right. Um, how does Black defend against this? Um... I don't know. I don't know. Just I, Again, I, I prefer the same position with Bishop on B5. Maybe Queen F4, but then you take, take on F4 and Knight H5. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it looks looks pretty pretty bad for Black. And now it's becoming blitz because both players under three minutes. Uh... Yeah, but it's the it's it's really tough for Black, it seems to me. But now Knight H five, Knight H five is coming. Right. Maybe. Hmm. Queen oh, F four. Now, now you take on F four and Knight H five, and I think it's it's really really nasty. Yes, it's coming. Okay, it's really so why? Nasty because pawn pawn on d6 will be protected by five, and uh, I can give up pawn on a2. But it's, it seems that it seems that black black will be devastated. Yes, wow, yeah. all the pawns are falling. Literally, like three of the pawns it's, are under yeah, attack. It's, it's not just pawns, you know. Yeah. It's just whole position is just whole position collapsing. Yeah, knight on a5 yeah, is bad. Interesting, you know that was the that was the what that was the um, that was oh that's the bishop the greenfield e6. I see that this is. I'm looking at the game now. E6, D6, wow. This is... Okay, should we move on then? Because this game seems like it's um, it's about to turn, you know, black is about to be mushed a little bit. Um... He did well. I mean, it's black. White, white played well. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was, that's, yeah. That's, that's, I think that desperation. That's probably the best best chance. So that's why I didn't want bishop on it. Mm, F3, okay. Take on a three, take on a three. Probably goes knight c4, but then we probably go e5. E5, yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. And you're solid, okay. So white's gonna white's gonna uh, close yeah, this game soon. Solid. There's no there's no hope. Okay, uh, yeah, let's exactly. let's move on. Maybe we can look at a different team. Yeah. Um, how about um, Mizu versus Slu? There's a uh, Mikhail Antipov from Mizu versus Robbie Kavlishvili, um, on board one. Let's look All at right. that one. That's not interesting. So if if I count correctly, that's the, 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 the too many white pawns on the board. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, the question is whether 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 three pawns can be compensated by by a little time, but I doubt very much. Mm. Right. 
these players are used to playing, you know, all these bullet blitz at yeah, five second increments yeah, should I, be. I, I don't think there's this this any chance. So what was the opening? I mean, how yeah. how black could lose all the pawns? Yeah, it was no, a night off actually. You're opening. Neither. <laughs> neither. With the uh, H5, after H5, the, 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 it used to be very new in 2007, 2005, but now everybody's, it becomes the main line in, every, everyone is playing yeah, H5. Yeah, but they gave up all the pawns. Yes, this castle queen side is a odd. new, well. Very odd. Yes, absolutely. He did give up a lot of pawns. It was like slowly bleeding um, dry, black was. Yeah, queen f yeah, queen f five, bishop d three now probably yes. Okay, he he, he he wins one pawn back, but that's that's probably it. Bishop d three, he takes only five. Maybe knight takes e five even. Yeah, it's yeah, that's bad, 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 bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. Should we move on or keep, stay with this game? Um, mm. I don't know. Queen f five. Okay. Now, if he yeah. plays bishop d three, I don't think that's Ooh. the. I, yeah, okay. That's bishop e5, knight takes e5. Queen takes e4, take, take, knight d7. Game over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why does everything covered, it seems? Yeah, that's this. Yes, we'll be end game with two extra pawns. Maybe we'll stick around for a couple, one minute to see how yeah, everything knight, clears out. Then, 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 queen takes e3, then it's. Takes, takes. Yeah, then, 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 then yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's it. then it's a middle game with two extra pawns. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Night on eight and, yeah, okay. That's it for this game. Let's let's move on to the game between uh how about this Greek uh I am Stravrula Slakidu. Um I've actually played her last uh, month in Charlotte um GM Norm tournament. Uh, she's from uh Slu versus in the second board versus Repka from Mizu. Uh that's board one of six Carissa. So let's look at this game. He's a very strong player um, oh. from Greece. By the way, that's the, the... Yeah, by the way, the game, you know, the game, uh, it seems that black will lose. Yeah, it's like 96. Yeah. In the end, the end, 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 end game. Yes. Wow, this is such a winning it's, position. It, it's, yeah, it seems that it's just that black, is in, black might be in trouble. Yeah, now e6 and king e5, yes, probably. Sorry, are we watching the same game? Um, yeah, I'm watching the game, game board one. This is this is Texas. So the one that we, we looked and we said it's a, it's a dead draw. Ah, okay, okay. Managed, Should we go back? To, okay, let's go. To put all, all the pawns on, on the... I'm curious. How okay, let's managed? go back. I will go to that Oof, game. Uh, C4. I mean, it's, just, it's Grandmaster. How you can play move like C4, you know, move 26. You know, it's this. Yes. You have a bishop and your bishop is active. It attacks the pawn on B3. Why on earth you play C4? Mm. Ah, okay, this is good. Wow, you're right. Yeah, this is okay. So, Gary, what is exactly the winning plan for White here? Just bishop. No, it's it's not. It's it's it, the only chance is e6. Because e6, okay. if if you black plays e6, then it's a draw. But okay. of course, white plays e6. Now yes. king e5, and mm -hmm. I don't see how black can survive it. And then bishop did that. It's it's ironically, I think that even the pawn's endgame was lost with extra pawn. Uh huh. Wow. Bishop e6. Maybe look. The only chance. What maybe if it bishop... Like bishop e8? Maybe right. bishop e8, yeah, bishop e8, but bishop e8. Are we going to see some bishop h5 sacrifice, Gary, after king e5? Yeah, this is the, I'm, I'm thinking now, king e5, bishop c6. Now, it's maybe, oh yeah, no, maybe bishop e8 is still a draw, bishop e8. Yeah, yeah, that's the, yeah, because bishop c6, uh, it sacrifices, will not work since the pawn is, uh, non g2 is hanging. Mm. Well, Gary, what about bishop e8, then we go with g3. And then we, Still we, bishop we, c6. And then bishop e2, and then we try to go king e5, and is that going to help? I mean, yeah, I don't think like bishop on e4. Oh, no, he played bishop, bishop g8. What, what is this? Oh, Wait, he wants to go bishop h7. this also like works. Fortress. Yes. That's interesting. Maybe it's brilliant. Bishop h7. This is so passive. But bishop but... e8 would have been <laughs> passive, better yeah. just to activate the bishop too. There's no zook swung here because no, bishop because can king, just king, 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 king c7. He can go always oh, king c7 and king c7. And, uh... wow, wow! So he managed Wait. to he managed to draw this. Bishop now, h5 now. Now bishop h5. He, he oh got wait, a, he, got a... he didn't play king c7. No, no, he played bishop g8. Now he can take on h5, and um, I don't know, but still, it's you have to calculate. Yeah, but because you. True. 
But why did he play Bishop G8 instead of King C7? Yeah, I don't know. I just I'm 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 trying to calculate what's happening. So if we if we take this, it seems to me that it's winning because I think we take on f a, a five, then uh, we, we go f five. Mm -hmm. King e5, f5, f6, and I think it should be winning because bishop was so poorly placed there. Is there a chance that white could lose after the sacrifice? A small chance, even? Wait, white didn't kick the pawn. Okay. This is strange. Let's Maybe there were some, some losing place. chances for white, and that's why he didn't do it? Wait, I don't look, think... Uh, yeah, okay, but no, no more chances. No more second chance. No, look, there's always a losing chance, but it's just, you know, it's the bishop h5. Yeah, uh... I, I think I think I think the plan was the it's the yeah king e5 king yeah there was always a chance yes I, I agree that it's, it's okay now he plays king c7 he he doesn't want to risk yeah, it no, anymore he, he doesn't want to give a second <laughs> chance yeah it's yeah you have you have this chance chance like that only once you know I was thinking that bishop g8 was maybe like a chance to entice bishop h5 maybe he saw something you know okay, by like, the, man, most of the game's over and it's the okay it's let's, very nicely. Uh, the, the the game ended nicely. The the Grunfeld game was mating construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Should we change games or? Yeah, I don't know the. Carissa, do you see any game that you want to look at? Let me know, and we can. But it's, the right. games are just you know the we, we have very very you know um short little time left, so it should That's be very true. quick. All right. Let's see. Um. Yeah, guys, can you pick one? For some reason, my site is being weird. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, let's look at the game between UTRGB um, board three. No, let's, that's almost ended. Um, oh, two uh, WGMs, I think. Guru Bekim Tokijanoa and Gabriela Antoa from Mizu. So 107, Carissa. All right, got it. Give that to Gary, yeah. So Mizu, and they just finished. So let's just look at the end then. I was a perpetual at the end. Interesting. Um, it's funny because uh, black was better according to the computer, but uh, black was fine with the draw because they were both low on time, it seems. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, in that game. Okay. Yeah, most of the games okay. are finished. Um, there may be a couple of games going on. There's Yeah, actually, there are a few games going on. Oh, we have this first... That those people are still playing the first board with the bishop endgame. They're still playing for some reason. <laughs> Did something happen? I oh. doubt it. Um, this king is on d5 and the bishop is on a8 now. <laughs> I don't think that makes a difference, does it? No. Oh, actually, could the bishop go to e8, Gary? How? Bishop c6, bishop e8, somehow? How? Oh, is the king on b6? Yeah, but Bishop Wait, the king's on... King's on D5 now. now. King's on D5 now. Ah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, then, 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 then it's yes. That's the, that's, 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 that's bishop, why you had to go Bishop E8. Yeah. Uh, right. This is like an endgame study. Like Bishop A8, King D5. Get out of the way. <laughs> Very beautiful, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, something told me Bishop A8 was a good move because it looked aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, but this is now, now it's easy, easy with me, yes. Um, and now Bishop C6, the simplest one. That's, that was very cool, Bishop A8. There are some compositions where you play Bishop A8 or Bishop H1 and then you, your king will... So the, 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 the last chance now, Bishop D7. Take, take, and then E5. I don't know if it's what e, take G five. I don't know. Oh my he's, goodness! Yes, that's a crazy that's, that's idea. The, that's the only chance. So yes. this is either resign or just play Bishop D seven. <laughs> uh, you take on B five, take take E five. Ah, no, no, no. But he you take on B five now. No, 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 no. Ah, that's wrong. You have to take on B five because then then the pawn black king was not uh, was yeah, not. Able yes, to absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So Bishop takes B five was easily easy win. Now maybe it's still winning, but you have to calculate. King takes c4, or do D4. you take? You take. So now d5. Oh, oh. Now, d5. now I'm not sure who's winning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, king, I don't know. King, king takes c4. Still then f4. King then c4. f4. King, king d3. Ah, oh, come on, that's it. King d3, fg3, king d3. No, I was winning because I had. Ah, still winning. G, yeah, g6, king. king, king and our, this king might seven? be a king, 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 king
No, 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 E6, E6, E6. E6, E6, oh, E6, E6 King of Eight. Yeah, that game. White, White is still winning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Winning. Okay. This is so exciting. This was such a nice yeah. finish. Yeah. Nice. Maybe we'll see it in some book. This game. Uh, yes. This is different. <laughs> some end game book. <laughs> uh, four G four King. Okay, that was a beautiful, beautiful game. But White maybe yeah. allowed this counterplay for. Yeah. Yeah. No, there was no reason to imagine the king was on C seven. This would this would be a yeah. Walk but but, but after E six, Bishop E eight was a correct move. We were right. So this is Bishop E eight. Mm -hmm. We have hold the position. Yes. Yes. So because passive defense. Five, bishop c6 he attacked pawn g2 and they forced forced the 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 exchange uh but gary after bishop e8 could we still sacrifice the bishop on h5 at some point yeah but but no but but after king, king g5 you go bishop c6. You know, sacrifice, know, you know, a so baby I, worth of so, gory uh, strings uh, and kasparov sick h5, dude f5, f5 bishop g2 king g6 king c6 i doubt King h5, king d6. I'm too close. We can, yeah, I, I don't think it worked. So bishop e8. No, no, I, it doesn't work. So bishop e8 and bishop c6. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry to check. Stockfish thinks it's still winning. <laughs> winning by. <laughs> in a weird way, it still thinks it's. Um, I'm not really sure why, it's, why it thinks that, but um, maybe. It, uh, well, what, what, what happens after bishop e8? It wants to go. It wants to go um, king d4. Some zook swung, I think. Ah, the bishop is stuck, Gary, on e8. So after king d4, bishop d5, and then the 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 king will have to come to c5, or they have to trade bishops. And if you trade the bishops, it's a losing position because we can go king e5, king d5. So zook oh, swung. But but what ah well, ah this ah pawn on g2. This is the key key tempi, yes. This is, so you go bishop d5, yes, and bishop c6 to take and go king e5 and g3. That's the final tempi. Mm, yeah yeah. Because oh, that, we that, need that. 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 Yes. <laughs> you, you, you need the final temp. Yeah, that's, that's, yes. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's the, that's, that's, that's quite, quite, quite. A, but again, that's the, that's a punishment for putting your pawns on white squares. You Absolutely. Know, this, this, the, he, had, he had all the pawns, you know, comfortably located on black squares and he put all of them on the white squares. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then for violating the rules of uh, positional rules, you know, you have to be punished. <laughs> Gary, uh, can I ask you one question about end games? And like, so, um, how do how did you study your end games? Do you analyze with by hand for many many hours? You know, I mean, back in the day, there was a German, so that was probably the way that people got strong in the end games. But nowadays, we don't have that chance anymore. Everyone's just like, by the time they reach the end game, they have like five minutes left, and they they don't get the feel for the end game yeah. because it's just you know. Like this end game is but, so but rich, look, but but it's the yeah, but it, this is not an excuse, you know, for not playing end games properly because yes, you have little time left typically for end game, but you also uh, have access to databases. I and mean, wh why why not practicing? Instead of playing, you know, a thousand bullet games, you can just you know play end games. You know, just you know, uh, they're, 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 you don't have to play all the end games, but there are many technical end games that you can practice just to make sure that you know you you know how to handle it. Like, you know, every professional now knows how to handle rook and bishop against rook. So, and then just, you know, more complicated things like rook and f, pawns and f, f and h versus rook. So how you make a draw. So what kind of positions are drawn and not. So, and then, um, and then you have fundamental rules. So again, one of them is just don't put your pawns on the, on the, on the, on the squares of your bishop. That's the, right. That's the, and again, keep the rook behind the past pawn. Uh, uh, so your past pawn uh, or uh, opponent's past pawn. So, um, and, uh, um, and again, it's, 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 the, it's always nice, you know, to go through database and look, to look some, for some of the um, good end games played by the experts. Mm -hmm. So the, the, I, I, I said not watched. I went through, I think, hundreds of games played by great players. So, and it's, um, it's um, you know, for me, it was entertaining. We didn't have computers, so I have to look at the games. Many of these games, I just have to, to record myself, you know, just, you know, make it little diagrams and just, you know, to work with them. So, mm -hmm. but um, it did help. So this is, it's, you know, it's, 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 there's some kind of mechanical work that, that young players don't do these days, but it's, it helps you because it's, it's, again, maybe I'm too old, you know, just to, to understand. So how, how it works otherwise, but when you do it mechanically, so it somehow it, it helps you to, to, to memorize it and just to, to feel it better. No, I said right. mechanically it means you know you just you do some recording or just you know you move the pieces there 
So maybe even you have to move the piece on the board, not only on the screen. So it's the, but with, with, with this, with, with access to so much data today, again, I think it's, there are no excuses that uh, many top players, they, they, they show very little um, um, understanding uh, of, of uh, typical end games. Right, right. They can be very strong in tactics and complications, but some of these positions, yes, the, the yep. weaknesses. Oh are yeah, shown. absolutely, absolutely. Right. Again, it's 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 pr maybe it's 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 practical, because as you say, it's it's um, it's um, uh, it, it's not needed since you know most of the games are ended before before you know you 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 reach an, an end game, a classic end game, but still you know it's the even if it's uh, one out of ten games. Where you know you have to show your uh, prowess uh, uh, in the end game, that's uh, that's still you know worth investing your time. Again, with so many bullet games played online, so I believe that uh, the, the, there is time to be saved to to um, uh, concentrate on improving your end game technique. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Carissa. Do you have um, any questions for Gary? And I, I also had a question, including Carissa, about the the uh, Young Stars program. Uh, which I believe, Carissa, you were a part of um, many yes, times. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe, um, Gary, can you speak about the the Young Stars program and like what plans you have in the future um, f for this? And what like, what are your goals? And and um, and Carissa, maybe you can also uh, share your experience about it as well to the audience. Um, either one of you can go first. Um, like, what um, are the future Gary, plans? Go ahead. Yeah, look, you know, we, we started this project uh, project all the way back in 2005. It was um, it was not, you know, as organized as nowadays, but still we had programs that it's run mostly in New York. So we tried to reconstruct the all the the old Soviet tradition of sharing experience and working with with talented uh, players. Uh, we had pretty big crowds in the beginning, but if you look at all the players who came through the program, so it started with with Daniel Noradinsky and Shang, uh, Sam Shangland. So going back to 2005, so I think we have already 17 grandmasters who came out of the program. 17, maybe even 18. I'm not sure. That's that's it's it's, it's pretty big number. And then we, we we formalized it. We just it became you know just more than just you know one off event in New York. So it's 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 uh, we we had more resources and we uh, put players in the program. And 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 um, in between these sessions that I run with them in New York and St. Louis, uh, um, we had um, uh, professionals like for instance Sasha Chernin working with them on a regular basis. And um, um, I think it became, you know, a very successful program. Now we extended it to Europe. So we have uh, um, other other sessions now. And uh, all we need is just, you know, it's just, you know, talent. So we, I'm, I feel that, you know, that's, 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 it's still my, you know, my duty to the game of chess to share my knowledge the same way as the, the my great teacher, Mikhail Botvinnik, did with me and, and other players of my generation. So it's the... It's a, it, it's a Soviet, old Soviet tradition, and I, I'm very happy that we had an opportunity and resources to, um, to build this tradition now worldwide. And uh, I think many, many top players now also are just feeling, I would say, this kind of pressure. I don't, I don't know about the, the same kind of programs established uh, by other uh, ex-world champions, but you know, we know that many of them are working like it's just, you know, like uh, Valody Kramnik. So they just, they, they also try to be part of this, you know, of, um, of this old tradition since okay, Kramnik was one of, one of my students all the way back in eight, 1987 uh, in, in, in the Soviet Union. So I can say that, you know, it's this is starting with, with, with my, you know, my own uh, early years, st student years in Botvinnik school in the 70s. So where I was there with players like Arthur Yusupov and, and Sergei Dalmatov and uh, uh, just again, yeah, it's, it's a long list of many grandmasters. And then, then I worked with Botvinnik as, as a young world champion. I worked with him and, and we had players like Kramnik, Shirov, Tiviakov, Alterman. It's, it's a long list of, 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 of uh, grandmasters, uh, Valodya Kapan, uh, Grisha Serper. It's, um, and uh, um, and then it moved, you know, gradually moved westward, and now it's it's again the the center is, is the United States, and uh, again I was very pleased to see that you know uh, Carissa now just uh, became the champion, so the U U.S. Uh, uh, women champion, and um, again I hope that's uh, that's uh, not uh, even close to the to the limits of her potential. 
Yes, Thank definitely. You. Definitely, we can feel the difference, Gary. Um, all these strong players, and I've played many of them in the United... I've played tournaments occasionally, so <laughs> I've played Carissa, I've played Andrew Hong, I've played all these <laughs> players, and <laughs> they're really good. They're really strong. <laughs> Um, and one more request, maybe selfish request, Gary, can you please write more chess books in the future? <laughs> <laughs> well, writing books is, is, is tough. So that's, that's, that's the, yeah. And, um, I'm, yeah, I'm still, yeah, I'm, I'm doing improvements of my, of, of my great predecessors. So that's a new, a uh, new editions, but unfortunately only in Russian because the, you know, just to, uh, make, uh, the English, uh, publisher to, to, to take them on. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite challenging. So I'm more than happy to offer, you know, what the, the work that I'm doing with my, uh, associates in, in Russian, because it's, you know, it's, it, it, we feel now that every, it's just it's every five years, you have to re revise your books mm -hmm. because I remember when we started this project, my great predecessors all the way back in, in, in late nineties. Actually, this is the, the the beginning. It was it was my my newspaper column for for German newspaper ninety six ninety seven. Then I did I did an, an upgraded version for um, for this uh, Russian newspaper, and then we had the first MGP uh, volume, my great predecessors in two I think back in two thousand two. And of course, you know there were tons of mistakes, and then and then just you know, we did another edition, and then it's oh okay now it's fine. And then we had you know we had other books, and we all you know just you know uh, used upgraded computers. And at certain point, I saw, okay, now we know the truth. Uh, I, you know, that's not so fast. <laughs> yes. And and it's amazing that some of the work that has been done ten years ago, and, and, and computers were quite powerful. Now you have to um, you have to reconsider. And it's not just you know one line or two. Sometimes the whole concept of the game changes mm -hmm. because ah, this is the the move that you know was 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 um, was awarded you know exclamation mark now. Uh, <laughs> So it could it could be something the opposite. Yes, one of the things that I always uh, amaze me about you, is, Gary, is your constant search for truth. You know, in the in the position well, in the game. That's that's look, I you know I'm I'm 58, so I have to I have to keep keep myself young, and the only <laughs> way you know of, of of being you know of uh, keeping this energy is is searching for truth. So that's the truth. I. Yeah, I, I'm I'm more than happy to 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 be criticized for just you know for the for the wrong. Uh, 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 commentaries in in the game of chess, or you know, for the wrong moves I'm doing. I'm I'm just I'm trying to 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 stay relevant. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Carissa, and what's the what's uh, what say you? Um, regarding the regarding just you know, say we 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 have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How, how you doing? <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, I think. Yeah, I can talk a little bit about the Young Stars program my experience with it because, Gary, I think you asked, and then I never yes. got around to answering the question. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been great. I think it started when I was, I remember when I was 12, and, like, the first time I walked in, and I was just filled with all, I was surrounded, like, with all of these young talents. Um, I think it was, like, at that point, there's, like, Jeffrey Shong and Sam Sevillon, um, a wonder everyone knows, of course, John Michael Burke and Kaden Troth was the group. And that was my first time there. And I remember being like very overwhelmed to uh, even be in the same room as Gary. I was like, oh my goodness. And my dad was like, girl, you need to calm down. <laughs> and um, yeah. And then from then on, uh, the groups I kind of changed. Now it's me, Brandon Jacobson, Rochelle Wu, Christopher Yu, and uh, Abby Misha, who was, I think yesterday was actually his birthday, and he is the youngest grandmaster. Um, and yeah, it's been, I think like throughout the years, it's been super helpful for my chess improvement. Um, I don't really want to give away like too many secrets on how it works, but yeah, it's kind of like a group analysis session we analyze like each other's games and it's always very it's always very fun to kind of see how um everyone thinks and not only to like take their suggestions into account but kind of like viewing everyone's like different perspectives on each position in my opinion it's something that's very unique to this program and something that I haven't been really able to experience anywhere else. Um, so yes. Yeah. Maybe the inspiration is a big part that's underrated, maybe, right? The motivation and the inspiration 
uh, from meeting Gary and meeting all these young talents and being in the same but room. It's the, it's the, it's look, it's the, um, it, it's just going back to, to, to old days. So I remember, you know, my, my feelings when I just, you know, had a chance to talk to Budvinik or just, you know, sitting with Spassky, Petrosian. I think it's, it's, you're right. It's, it's inspiration. It's, um, it's adding confidence. And also, you know, it's, um, you can feel the connections between generations. I think that's very important that in the knowledge, because knowledge is not just, it's not just moves. It's not just games. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's also communication. I think it is, there's a live communication. It's, it's, especially these days, you know, with, with internet, with online, you know, but the live communication, it's, it's cannot be uh, undervalued. Agreed. Yeah. I can definitely relate to Carissa about being starstruck. Uh, Gary, I don't know. I I have this picture. I don't know if you can see the camera. This is our picture when we were young. If you can see it. Can you wow. see? This is 2003. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I don't, yes. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but yeah. yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah I, can. I can see it, you know, I can see it. So I can tell you that, you know, while your hair is still intact, mine was not. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, the... Okay, the round seven just started. Let's Gary, okay. let's take a look at the uh, st standings and the pairings really quickly, and then we'll we'll go back to looking at some games. Um, so it looks like it's again the story of Texas, Texas, Texas is still um, is still the case. Um, Texas Tech, RT, UTRGV, and uh, UTD are and SLU are both at five and a half out of six uh, at the moment, um, followed by. Um, Wars, there's a bunch of players with a bunch of teams with five points out of um, six. So let's uh, take a look at some games. Uh, right now, we have oh very strong matchup here. Guillermo Vesquez versus Camille Dragoon. UTD versus yes. UTRGV. Very strong uh, game. I so actually Texas, played, oh, Texas again? Texas, UTD versus uh, UTRGV. Yes. Um, and then we have Texas Tech versus SLU as well. So shall we just look at the first board just to start off with? Okay. Yes, I've sent the uh, thing. Okay. They just started. Wow. What, 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 what an opening. Yeah, this is an English opening, I believe. Oh, no, it's B3. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's, this, is, this, is, this is a very odd opening. Yeah. What do you very think? Very funny, you know, this yeah. is, that's the, it's, it's, you don't see many games where, you know, white, you know, uh, for first five moves, you know, didn't touch their their their, their kick side. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely, but with white you can get away with it, I guess, right? Kind of. Yeah, it's the, it's yeah, it's it doesn't happen off. I mean, it, it does happen, but still, you know, just not to move G three, just E three. So it just only, mm. yeah, yeah. But now night 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 B D seven. I think. Oh, I remember. Uh, I was it's still okay. Bishop 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 G seven. Now he can play knight D five knight B D seven. Not a big deal. Queen is king F eight. Not a big deal. Do you think white is actually slightly better in these positions? The structure? I don't think so. I no, don't okay. think so. No, queen is three check. Now you should play, and you can, and then king f8, or maybe bishop is six even now. No, now bishop is six even. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is it. Still, you know, this is. It's, I mean, white. Look, you know, it's seven moves. King side is untouched. That's true. I don't know. I'm not sure it's a good sign. Maybe Queen D2 was better. Black, Black is ahead in development. Come on, that's the... That's true. That's not... That's. I mean, even if the, after King F8, I think Black is fine. But 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 you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Bishop B6, then maybe you could G3. Play, yes, or... you could play Knight D5, Knight, Knight B7, and then Queen is to check. Then King F8, and Black was again, perfect right now. King... Rook Very Rook creative. Rook. I, I don't know if he's going to try to go over a record of not what he's developing doing. his that's, that's again, it's just, yeah, now curious. Now eight moves and not a single piece move from the queen, from, from the, uh, uh, from the um, uh, king side. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, finally. <laughs> yeah, finally, finally he did it. Um, but after rookie eight, he has to move the queen somewhere, yes? Yes, queen. this is very odd, but I, I feel like white will get away with it, kind of. He will get out. He will get out. Yeah, he will get out. So he wants, yeah, he, he wants to prevent um, D5, yes? Yeah, so. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've seen some games from your book, uh, you know, Kasparov and Kasparov, where you punish some of these, uh, some of these early yeah, queens, early. queen outs uh, with some extremely amazing, uh, uh, there was some extremely amazing knight moves, uh, like knight G4, some, some sacrifices yeah, yeah. or it something. Was, it was Hibner, yes. The game was Hibner. Hibner, right? yes, Hibner, exactly. That's the game. I remember. Very beautiful game. Was it a training yeah. game, right, Gary? It was a training game, I remember. Yeah, it was yeah, it was a training game. Yes, but very serious training game. Yeah, he was a serious player. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. 
Yeah, professor. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, this is, it's, maybe that's not that bad. Yes, so that's the mm -hmm. somehow white white is getting not going to four. Still, just interesting. So eight. Yeah, or, uh, it, the the problem is white. I feel like st statically speaking, white is better because of backward pawn and like if if you have a couple of more moves, that's white. And he's going to be taking over maybe. Yeah. But Much okay, better. d five is coming. Okay, so it's like the. Um, like the method in chess, right? The, you know, black knows that he's long term, maybe he's going to be worse. So he's playing D5 and trying to, trying to uh, change the position very quickly. Maybe. I don't know if it'll work, but. Yeah, I don't think it's working after knight F4. Yeah, should move the bishop somewhere or just be rook, rook E8. Rook E8 seems natural. Knight g4, okay, that's, I don't blame that. Maybe there's some queen b6 now. stuff. Sorry? Uh, uh, queen, uh, so queen, queen d2, queen b6. Yeah, that's actually okay. not bad for black, maybe. Still and then and then e3, do we play d4? <laughs> or rook e8 and d4? Some sacrifices? Mm, yeah, or is but too much? still you're, you're way behind. You can take on c4, maybe. Okay, so, so next move is queen d6. After six, opponent f2 is hanging. So queen d2, queen b6, yeah. Yeah, and then and then what is um, e3? Is that the? Mm -hmm. And then c4? t takes c4. Okay, okay. But then what if like? Okay, let me think. D takes c4. Maybe I can play bishop e2. Bishop e2. Okay. Threatening to. Yeah. Then maybe you have knight takes f4. Knight a4. Uh, knight... Dennis Boros in the chat saying after dc4, knight a4. Knight four. Oh, that's the knight mm. four. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's a wild position, but this is right up your alley, right? <laughs> and this yeah. kind of positions. And I, I know Camel. He's a pretty solid player, actually. And uh, Guillermo is more of t the tactical player. Um, I played both of them over the board, so. Interesting, um, interesting matchup here. They're yeah, both maybe I don't know. Maybe just you know, queen b six e three knight e five bishop e two then take on c four. So, uh, after e three knight e five. Yeah, but still, it's a. Uh, um, what about just bringing out a new piece, knight b d seven, and then knight e five? Just knight b seven. Don't take. He takes on d five. Oh, oh, okay. It's yeah. It's a... and then knight. Okay. Too much. Be two then, it's just... Too much, yeah. Okay. Bishop G2. Okay. Black must hurry. Okay, so there is a very interesting question by uh, Julio, uh, the coach. How do you assess such dynamic positions? Like, do we do we not assess it at all and just move by move? Or do we use some principles as well? Like, do we have time to use general principles? Um... Look, there's no universal advice. So that's okay. the, yeah. It, even in it, even in very dynamic positions, you still have to remember about basic rules. But you now that's that's uh, that's what you know uh, separates uh, good players from from very good players and very good players from great players. So you, you know exactly what kind of evaluation it's more more important in this given position. Okay. So maybe what, what I'm hearing is you had to use all of your tools. Every skill you have is, applies. Yeah, but it's it's just to again recognizing what as we say what is the demand of the position. So what what this position want what this position requires for you uh, just from you to to um, uh, get the best out of it. So mm -hmm. and uh, and it's uh, you know again as I say the basic rules. I mean, if you remember my game was Hibner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he did extremely well, you know, basic rules. But, you know, he lost very quickly because, <laughs> because he was behind. And I just, you know, I knew that I could renege on some rules by simply, you know, just uh, pushing, you know, pushing him to the ropes at the very early stage of the mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. um, another question in the chat. Uh, do you play online chess at all in your free time, Gary, I, still? Yeah, of, course, of course I do. I mean, as everybody does. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm no exception. Yeah. And what time control um, do you like when you play for fun? Yeah, or I just... prefer, you know, but this problem is, you know, it's, it's, I, I definitely prefer, you know, uh, it's three plus one or three plus two, but uh, the problem is uh, very few, very few players now just, you know, play 
very what they call very long chess. <laughs> Everybody plays three O and bullet. Three O, yes, which is yeah, I mind. Yeah, it becomes the mouse mouse game at the end, at yeah. three O and bullet. So yeah. now now you can take on G seven and play knight C five. Yes, or just wait. Can you take on G seven, take on E six, and queen D four? Queen D four. And the ninety five F four. Ninety five, ninety five F four. Yes, then. Uh oh. So you, yeah. You should go knight F six, and then you go knight C five, bishop takes C four. Ooh, yeah, that's it. Uh oh. So you take on G seven, take on E six. Actually, you can start with queen D four check. Um, yes, we can. You're, yeah, we can. Yeah, you see. Oh, but this knight oh, yeah, f take on e six, take take on just queen d four, knight f six, and then you go knight c five, mm -hmm. and then bishop takes c four. Oof. That looks really good, actually. Yeah, In the that chaos. Uh, black emer yeah. white emerges pretty, out pretty better. Good. Pretty good. Is sounds to me like understatement. Understatement. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's, so. White is looking for the kill now, or, or looking to really take over. He's he's taking his time here. Um, yeah, is there anything else he can play besides Bishop G7? Because Bishop G7 seems like the only only move. Well, kind Bishop of. G7 is very natural, so yeah, you don't, need, mm -hmm. you don't need this bishop. You you will so. take first and then think, right? If you you know. Yeah, that's ideally. that's what I would do. If you take first and then you think whether you could take on the six or play knight C5, you know that's the right. The yeah, exactly. Check, so. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's an interesting question. Who do you who do you, do you have a favorite uh, in this tournament? Also, or do you have a favorite in the Grand Prix? Are you rooting for anybody no, in particular? No, no, no. I'm just I'm, I'm watching here, yeah, so I'm yeah. I enjoy watching games. You're a fan, no, just a fan. For anyway, yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Um, Let's see five. Oh, Let's see five. Okay, so he didn't play this queen d4 check. He just went immediately knight c5. Yeah, still, you know, taking bishop would be nice. Uh, now he can, you know, escape maybe bishop c8. That's... Uh, bishop c8, okay. Now at least you go back. I just want to... But bishop right. c4, white is much better, but yes. a bit better. My much better probably is understand. But it's not... It's not um, close to winning as it could be. Yeah, taking... Um, taking on f e6 was definitely. It seems like it was f5, better. Five bishop on f5 also possibility. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now he's gonna probably take on c4. Mm -hmm. Then you can probably play b6. Yes. Yeah. If only the bishop wasn't there, then we can play knight e6 to drop a knight on e6 and win the queen. <laughs> uh, Potentially, the white black could forget this in some some line. Yeah, but this thing, of course, take on e6 and queen d4 and knight c5, queen e7, queen e5, then probably. Because bishop c4, e5, there's a move. So queen e5, and it uh, looks, looks pretty nasty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exciting game. Should we should we maybe try to look at something else? Um, because this yeah. game is still, I think it's going to be going on for a while now. Oh, okay, bishop, uh, by the way, bishop h3 was winning. Yes, yeah, that's exactly. Take on e6, queen d4 check, knight f6, knight c5. Queen e7, then, and then bishop h3 was winning. Yeah. Okay. Just to, yeah, so it was, white, white was winning. Now it's murky. It's, a little bit more, yeah. Let's have a mm -hmm. quick look at another game. So we. Yeah, let's look at another game. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Let's take a look at. Let's. let's uh, okay, one second. Should we focus on the top boards, or, or, or uh, is there any other. Maybe that's not. That's not. Doing well, for, going well for white now. Queen e5 maybe on this. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, e5, e4 black, was not black, good. Black may 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 survive now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's um take a look at. Mm, By the way, it's very nice move. Queen e5, queen e5, and after queen d4, maybe knight d7. Knight d7. Wow. Okay. Queen e5, queen d4, knight d7. Just to trade pieces, or yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. trading knight on c5 to knight on b8. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Knight d7. If you take on the seven, bishop d7, which is funny. Queen e5, knight e5, and pr protect the bishop. Queen yeah. d7, <laughs> queen d4, and h1, rook is hanging. Mm -hmm. That's a cool idea. Yeah, queen d4, knight d7. Uh, after queen d4, could we also go okay b6, or is that? 
just to kick the night. It's also possible, but yeah, but but yeah, I would like to bring night from B8. You know, that's this, right, this, right. Uh, this. But it's it's yeah, it's also that's what you said. Also, yeah, possible. Night's kind of uncomfortable temporarily. It feels like. Yeah, uh, but yeah, but yeah, but I, I would, a lot of things are hanging though. Yeah, a lot of pieces are hanging for black too. There's other B6. I take on F5. Yeah. Uh, take on E5. Take on F5. Then probably you know Bishop takes C4. So, okay, yeah, maybe it'll happen. <laughs> Maybe it will happen. We'll see if he plays ninety seven here. Mm. But black has to not doesn't have much choice here. He has to play aggressive. Yeah. Rookie eight. Ah. Oh. Ah, okay. Actually that's that also looks that's also. Yeah, but Bishop takes C4 now. Bishop takes C4. Bishop, Bishop E2. E2. There's so much tension here. Um <laughs> I now maybe b6 now <laughs> but still you know i i would prefer knight d7 to to on, on the previous move mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just you know mm -hmm. to, i i hate having knight on b8 <laughs> is it too late it's too late now to play it yeah late. it's it's yeah, too now, late. No, now we yeah, can take now just, yeah now we can just take twice now now it's late yeah b6 maybe only move i'm not sure mm. Uh, technically, he can take on d4 and go knight e5. I mean, if he wants to just kind of get out of stuff. Yeah, but then knight takes b7. True. Yeah, knight takes b7 and knight goes on d6. Mm -hmm. and things are yes. falling apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. So maybe b6. Is, yeah, okay, he played it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, we should move on. We should move on. So okay, let's. Yeah. Slew versus Texas Tech. First board of the second. Uh, uh, second pairing uh, in the standings. Uh, Robbie Kevlishvili versus uh, the guy who played a really good endgame with the bishops. Um, yeah. His name is uh, Kanin, I believe. Yes. So we'll see what happens. His name is up to something on his handle. He's always up to something. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Wow. This is actually, it looks exciting. Mm. So... White is down a pawn, but has two pawns. But King is very unsafe, and um, but it, how unsafe is it? Is it enough to enough compensation? Yeah, but unsafe. But um... what do you think, Carissa? Yeah, I think pawns. like nine f six can just be met with rook f eight, right? Rook f eight, simple. Knight G8? Yeah. Oh, no, then it's G7. G7. Yeah, King G7. Yeah, but... But oh, then okay. also, if White doesn't take on a 6 okay, okay. Rook F8 happening soon. There's the end game with Rook D1, right? Can we try it, like, rook, after Rook F8? Is that possible? White had, by the way, White had, White had a problem at one point. But they played quite cool. I mean, C4. Oh, uh, Gary, could you maybe get the mic a little bit closer, just a little bit, if you can? Um, yeah. Okay. No, but it's the. Um, yeah, but now Rook F8, I see now what's the. Yeah, so Rook F8, then does White play Rook D1? Oh, he did. He did. With the Rook on the seventh rank, it's he can win back some. Well, oh, there's 90. Yeah, this might be a draw, actually. <laughs> like Rook D7, 95, yeah. Rook C7. Like a rook. Hmm. Yeah, that's the. Looks like a draw. Okay. Unless Black wants to try something. Something more, if there is anything more. Hmm. No, I don't think so. You don't think so, right? Okay. Some. Okay, Queen F6, Queen F6, Rook F6, Rook D7, Knight E5. It seems like likely. What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. I wonder what White is thinking about here because isn't it forced? Okay. Oh, you can go queen e3 check if you wanted to. Queen, if queen, that's... Queen, then queen e4, then queen e4. Queen f4. Yeah, but then we can still take on d7, right? And then, but yeah, then it's but then take it, not, not the same. But, worst yeah. position, worst version with the pawn, pawn on e3. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm hmm. So, yeah. 
Oh. Can any fans probably come in? It looks and then... Yeah, this is draw? have to be a draw, like 100% draw, right? Unless stranger things have happened, but this. Uh... No, yeah, 100% draw. Yeah, 100% okay. draw. Okay, let's move on. Mm. Let's look at the game with uh, UTD versus UTD B versus Warsaw. Uh, Machea versus uh, Ivan Shitko. What do you think right. about that game? Let's look at that one. Machea is very famous for being in time pressure uh, in every game. And it's rapid chess. So, And as we speak, yeah. he's, he is in time pressure. 46 seconds left. Um, but it's not about time also pressure. Also, losing. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's the game over. So what's game over pressure, yes. Rookie 7. So rookie seven. Design, so oh, yeah. Rookie 7 should be a rookie. I waste our time on the game. Okay, yeah. This is... This is, yeah, this is over. Um, okay, let's move on then, because this game, there's no saving black. Mm. No. Okay, there's still a, a bunch of games. Um, let's do the National Technical University of Athens from Greece versus uh, Georgia Institute of Technology. Uh, Dimitris Alexis for National Technical University versus Alexander Aripov. Carissa? Um, uh, sorry, I'm fine. Do you know what table it is? Yeah, Where? it's um, table 109. 109. There you go. Another um, another game with the potential bishop endgame. <laughs> We're already bishop used to it. Again. Yeah. I mean, that, looks, that looks pretty nasty to black. Mm -hmm. we, we might see some similar themes to the game we looked at. If we so, white has a big space advantage, and those pawns on the king side are are like ripe for in the future to take right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what do we do on the queen side, Gary? Do we push the pawns on the queen side, like before, or yeah, is why, it? Why not? Before. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I just don't want to to miss rook a four, uh, bishop a four, but it seems I can start. We can start pushing. It's um, start pushing. Okay. Yeah. It's um, yeah. And then to switch over to the rooks or something to the A file or yeah, rooks. No, ideally we have to switch the rooks. And um, I don't know if Black can just make a fortress. Mm -hmm. um, I, I doubt very much. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Because of pawn F7, technically you can exchange all the rooks and put pawn on E6 and pray. So whether <laughs> White can actually organize anything, and then you keep the bishop alive. But but while start organizing the the pass pawn, so my only question is whether you can do something with yeah with the bishop on yeah if you just keep the pawn on b6 maybe maybe it might be i don't know i just it looks bad mm -hmm. you still have to go with this because the idea you go to the end game and and then you put pawn on the six king on the seven and wait so uh you white king goes on d4 bishop on E4, just, you know, and, and then you just stand with bishop D7, E8, and you wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what about the time situation? Why 14 seconds? Is that going to make a difference? Because five seconds is not enough to actually make a plan. And, you know, besides it's moving around, I mean, do you think white has enough time to pull it up? Yeah, but you can you do tons of moves, rook, rook D2, and uh, again, just... Eventually, has to play B forced. I think that's there. Mm -hmm. Black, black, black should just wait. Okay, right. So this is. I'm so very curious. I, I think he's probably thinking about F five somehow, but I just I don't know at one point. But I don't know whether mm -hmm. it's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, he, he now, took. Now, okay. Okay. Now it's. Okay, we're gonna. Now that's interesting. Now I don't think this is a good decision for black because white has no time, and now it's so simple for white. Yeah, he could have waited, you know, that's practically, it would be better to wait. Yes. Yeah. But it's now okay. That's, I'm still curious. So this is, if black is just, just again, e6, king c7, and I'm waiting. So what can... Well, what about Gary putting the bishop on the diagonal d3 and then okay, playing... Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I just, you know, you, you, can put, you can play c5 eventually. So black will play e6 eventually? No, you know, now he, play, he wants to play f6 now. But I, uh, I, I think that's not, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yes, king e3 now. f6. 
F6, king of four. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. King of four, maybe F5. Yeah, but that's F5 the... is a passer. I mean, it is a passer. It's a passer, but now, now the now bishop h5 becomes, you know. Oh, f5. He, can he play bishop f5? <laughs> no, no, no. Then it, it's now nah, now king f8. It doesn't matter. But but eventually it's a threat now because the pawn on f7 protected black against bishop h5. Now with f5, you have to wait. But f5, you can take uh, bishop takes f5, right? Maybe you should take on. Yeah, I don't know. Just now, if you take on g5, king f7, but then the the, the pawn on the king side is. Hold on, oh, f1 on the board. Yeah. Is it oh, bishop f5? f5? Now, 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 bishop e2, and um, and you start pushing the. Wait, but Gary, what about bishop takes f5? Bishop takes f5 and g6. Oh yeah, okay, that's okay. That's, that's 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 even yeah, that's even better. Wow. He, okay, so this is good about it. Finish. Yeah, but I still, I, I'm sure the, the bishop e2 was also winning mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I, I did, you, you didn't have you, you, it. The pawn had to stay on f7. Yeah. Uh, right. 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 And I'm, again, it's maybe black and white was winning the end game, but but the idea was you know you put pawn on e6 and you wait. So mm -hmm. c5, I don't move. You know, king wants c7 and bishop goes e8 d7, just you know trying to survive there. So um, yeah, probably it will take a long time, but he will lose eventually anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, eventually, but it's it's a little bit yeah just tricky because it's this again I control control the diagonal and yeah you have to find a way of just you know maybe moving. Some are moving your king to, to eighth. Yeah, I don't know. This, this. Right. It's, it's suffering. It's still for probably sure. winning. Yeah. But now it's over. Yeah. Okay. So, um, should we go back to that first board between Guillermo and. No, by um, the way, White, White is winning there. In the first board? No, no. It's the, yeah, the, the board that we. Ves Vesquez, um, Dragon. Uh, yeah. The, okay. Oh, it was it was supposed to be a a, a, a draw, right? <laughs> no. No, it's not supposed to be a draw. But no, 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 sorry, wrong game, wrong game, wrong game, wrong game. Um, yeah, yeah, this was a interesting game. Yeah, we I don't know how it played out. Um, it seemed like ah, so after b six, okay, we took we... the bishop and took the knight. Okay, guys. Okay, we finished this round, so yes. it's yeah time to go sunday family okay okay yeah. uh this has been an okay. extreme honor thank you yeah. so much Gary. And so, yeah, um, a lot of fun so um um it's uh, a lot of entertainment and um again i'm just you know really happy that so many players are just interested in taking part in this competition okay guys thank Carissa, you so much Gary. Uh, have a great, uh, great day bye-bye thank yeah. you bye-bye take bye -bye. care bye -bye. thank bye -bye. you so much